Musicorama TV. My favourite track is Tomorrow Never Knows by the Beatles because that was the future in the past. And um, I never liked the Beatles very much um, until I heard that. And then I just thought it was the most amazing thing. And then I heard Setting Sun by the Chemical Brothers. And then to me, that was what I wanted to do. I wanted to make rock dance music. And uh, in the early days, we got a lot of... um, uh, people didn't like us for it because people thought of Jesus Jones and EMF as examples of people mixing together rock and dance music. But now so many people have, are doing that. It's considered very, very normal from Infidels to Soul Wax to Klaxons. Um, it's now considered a very developing style of music. And uh, I'm very happy now that we've kind of re- reclaimed the style and now it it means a really good thing well we would have loved to have stayed on our own record label uh, forever unfortunately though every time we had to release a record we had to draw like 400 pounds out of the bank (laughs) to do it that you don't you don't make money releasing records Um, so it got to the point where we knew we had to if we wanted to carry on we had to like side with someone else we never wanted to sign with a major label because uh, we hated that world with a passion. A wall, like, wall of Sound approached us, like kind of from nowhere really, and it was only on, they were just kind of helping us out. We were still doing the Dead at 30 thing, and uh, they helped us get gigs and an agent, and eventually we realised that we were being groomed, <laughs> in a way, to be signed. And then, But they're, they're like an independent label, and uh, they've, they've really, like, everyone who works there has a really good kind of ethic and w- good reasons for why they're doing it. So it, we felt quite at home with them, really. Success has never changed us um, because we still do exactly what we want when we want. And I think um, an indication of success changing the band would be that the second album was a a remake of the first album. And that, I don't think anyone could say the second album is in any way a remake of the first album. If anything, it's a completely different album. You don't make the same record over and over again like Oasis. I mean, what is the point? You know, they might as well... The first album was the best. They've never bettered it, but they continue to try and make the same album. And you're never going to make a better one than that. So I don't understand the point, whereas someone like Damon Albarn has always moved. Sometimes people like it more. Sometimes they like it less. (laughs) The point is you're always moving forwards. He did write that one lyric. Yeah, funnily enough, that's the only lyric I've ever written. Yeah, the song's all about redemption, really, and about give, like not being like tied down to like the more material things in life. Just let it go. Uh, you know, don't be so worried about like paying a mortgage or like pay, like, pay, like have a moment for yourself and just enjoy life for what it is. So, how are your savings on that HD twenty four Sony Bravia TV? <laughs> yeah, but you see, I didn't write the song. <laughs> as a massive fan of material possessions. <laughs> well, it's, a, it's an interesting one because people always come up to me after gigs and they think I'm on drugs, which I'm not on drugs. I can't afford them. Um, but I find it quite easy, really, like just to go up there and go mental. I mean, someone gives you a chance to go on stage. What else are you going to do? <laughs> I've never really fathomed the kind of people that stand there like still on stage it's not in me I don't think it's in any of us really we're just like we're just affable show offs I think basically (laughs) no one's ever heard this before but we want to have a January 2010 release and considering we haven't even written a note yet it's very optimistic so if we make it we'll buy you a beer we want to have it we want to have it done by March basically we haven't written a note of it yet. It will, it will be influenced by Japanese video game soundtracks, which is another one of our most recent loves, like old, old video games. Yeah. Music that sounds like this. Dance, dance, dance. Like that. That's kind of... There we go. That's the first track. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Electro, yeah. yeah, we haven't written the words yet. But we've always liked electro music. You know, the first album was very influenced by... 
uh, European electro music, TF Schwartz from Germany, um, obviously Daft Punk from France. The second album obviously was very different, but now I think we're going to be very influenced by Boys Noise and Justice yeah. and uh, Crookers and Fake Blood and lots of cool stuff. Yeah. 